Welcome to City Skylines 2. This is my first city. This is episode 5. And this will be my last episode for City Skylines 2 for several months. The city has grown substantially. Last episode, the population was 13,000. Now the population is over 24,000. I have built quite a few new sections with my block format. So you can see right here, there's the block format. And then a more of the block format, a little bit more of the block format, and then just kind of a mixture of some more curvy roads, organic roads. If I go here and uh, do this mode right here, you can see the, the block format in a little bit better detail. A little bit more of the road structure in greater detail. Uh, the other thing that I've done is I've spent a lot of time building out the highway infrastructure. And by the way, I got the game paused because I don't want the weather to uh, to happen. Uh, so I, I wanted to try to keep a nice, clean view for the video. But I built out a huge part of the highway right here. This part right here. Stack interchange. More of the highway right here. And it kind of curves up. And in addition to that, there's a, a boatload of uh, intersections that I built. So intersection right there, intersection here, here, another one. And of course, it, it, they're, I, I just um, made them manually because uh, you can't do assets right now as far as I know. And then of course, I also built the frontage road. So the highway, you know, is this part, and then there's the frontage road. And so I think it looks great, and if you've seen my City Skylines 1, my most recent build, it should look familiar. Uh, I, I use highways and frontage roads. There is nonstop demand for residential, consistent population growth, you can see right here, 330 an hour. It's great, it's been like that the entire time. Uh, the city is highly profitable. Right here, 44,000 an hour. Um, is there good traffic flow? I mean, not really. It's uh, low 60, mid 60s. It doesn't even show the number, so you just kind of have to guess based on looking at the chart. So uh, it's it's okay traffic flow, but not great, not great. And then uh, when it comes to uh, the citizens, they're extremely happy. So that's what the numbers look like. So they're extremely happy, which is great. So overall, I'm, I'm proud so far of my first City Skylines 2 city. However, I don't plan to play City Skylines 2 again for some time. Maybe it'll be, it'll be six months. Maybe it'll be for a year. Because City Skylines 1 is a dramatically better game at this point. I know many people have said that they've had bugs and performance issues with the game. Uh, I have not had performance issues with the game. Fortunately, City Skylines 2 has run fine for me. And when I think of a bug, I think of something that really crashes the game. The game is fairly stable. Uh, it has crashed, but for the most part, it, it is pretty stable. So I don't really have complaints about performance or bugs about the game. My complaints are based on how the game operates. Maybe even the game mechanics. If you consider those observations as bugs, then yeah, I've noticed those types of issues. I just don't call them bugs. First, uh, the game for some time now only wants me to build low density housing. See right here, low density housing. See, it's the this this bar is almost maxed out. Um, I I have been building nonstop homes. So I've been building these are homes. I've been building non-stop low-density residential non-stop uh, ever since the city was from from the last episode till now and th that's what all of these are uh, can I do this right here I mean it's hard for you to kind of see but this is all low-density residential low-density low-density residential I try to put in some of the medium or high-density residential but it's all low-density residential all low-density residential and this bar never changes. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. There, um, there hasn't been demand for any other type of residential zoning. 
none of the medium density or high density housing. So the city is starting to look very uniform without the kind of diversity that I'm used to in City Skylines 1. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. However, in City Skylines 1, I would, always, I would always see diverse demand for residential zoning. But in City Skylines 2, I haven't seen any demand for medium or high density residential during, from the last episode till now, when the city has almost doubled in population. I mean, that seems weird. It, it seems like something is wrong with the game. Uh, the second issue that I have has to do with building the roads. I, I cannot build with precision. The roads sometimes do not connect in a precise angle, so sometimes when I'm creating my blocks, the roads don't line up perfectly. They lined up perfectly in City of Skylines 1. Again, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I never had any issue in City of Skylines 1 with building precise blocks. And it seems like in City of Skylines 2, you really can't, or it's not as intuitive or as easy. Uh, what would be a good way for me to show you? Maybe if I do this, Um, can you see like these little gaps right here? See these little gaps in the zoning? These little gaps in the zoning? Um, yeah. Um, it, it just doesn't, things don't just line up as perfectly as they did before yeah like right here these little little kind of gaps and stuff I I, I don't know again may, may, maybe it's me maybe it's me but when I did my most recent city and city skylines one it, it would just line up a lot better so I but I, I I've noticed that you, you just can't line up like that you just can't line up stuff properly um, the third issue is traffic. Uh, one of the best things in City Skylines 1 is the realistically simulated traffic and fixing traffic, right? I've done a boatload of submitted city fixes where I fix people's traffic. It's so fun. I love it. Um, first of all, I, I've already mentioned it. You can't get a clear number for the traffic flow. You have to look at the graph and guess. Why? Second, the traffic interface has two color schemes. There's the traffic flow, which I assume is supposed to be similar to City Skylines uh, 1. Right, and so bad is red, which is what we're familiar with in City Skylines 1. And so you'll see that, okay, I don't really have a lot of green. I've got a lot right here in the middle, right? Yellow, orange. And like right here, this road, It is fine, except for right here and right here. So it's just kind of odd that this whole part has that color. And this part is red. What? Why? I don't see cars there. And I've noticed that the entire game. Like right here, this is all... There's no cars here, hardly. Two. I, 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 I literally do not understand what it's telling me. And these areas are green, but I don't understand why the other areas are considered busy. Like th this, this, this dead end road, I, I, I really don't know what it's telling me, what it's measuring. So when I zoomed out in City Skylines 1 and I turned on traffic flow, I knew that as soon as I zoomed in, to an area that was red or yellow, I was going to see a boatload of cars. Not here. I mean, these are parked cars. There, This road does have some cars. This is a busy intersection, but... Uh, it doesn't seem that bad. Um, and, and then, again, there's this color scheme. So, okay, let's go to the second item, which is traffic volume. And why does it go from, I don't even know, 
this dark yellow. Is that what it is? I don't know. To purple. Why? Why are there two color schemes? And the traffic flow, or uh, sorry, the traffic. Um, the first of all, the traffic flow places, like I mentioned, that are supposed to be busy, don't seem to be busy. And then the traffic volume, where it's purple, that actually seems to be more accurate. Like I come down here and I'm like, okay, yeah, R uh, purple, purple, got it. It's busier, but it doesn't look bad. Okay, this is uh, what, orange or something, a, a brown. So there's no traffic there. Okay, got it. The, the highway is purple. So, okay, so it's busy, but there's no traffic being backed up. Uh, this is a really busy road, but there's no traffic being backed up. So, it, it, you know, it's obviously measuring something different, but um, it, if I zoom out, I can I can say like, okay, I'm going to go for the areas that are purple. Um, but those aren't really areas that have terrible traffic per se. So it's just um, it's just a odd, weird interface. Um, it does seem like something is wrong with this traffic flow piece, but uh, so I, I haven't even been using the traffic flow. I primarily go where things are purple. Um, so that's 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 another piece. The fourth issue is more of uh, um, I, I would say a minor issue, but it's it is an issue for me, and that is there's no inverted mouse for the Y axis. That's something that games have had for decades. City Skylines One has it. City Skylines 2 does not. Um, I also noticed that some commercial buildings constantly say uh, this little warning. Let me see here. This one. Some of them say that not enough customers. Uh, but I did see communication from Colossal Order and a recent patch that this problem is already being worked on. So maybe it's totally fixed now. So there, there you go. If you want my opinion on if someone should buy City Skylines 2, I would say not in its current state. Not right now. Wait. Or buy City Skylines 1 instead. Uh, you can probably get it on a good sale. You know, get it for cheap. Uh, I would say that you should buy City Skylines 2 after more updates and improvements. I think it would have been better for Colossal Order and Paradox to release City Skylines 2 as an open beta or early access because that's what this game really is. It's not ready. Uh, that's why I don't plan on playing City Skylines 2 for another 6 to 12 months. That's a guess on how long it may take for the game to be a better simulation, to be closer to how good City Skylines 1 is, and to be a lot more enjoyable. Maybe it will take less time, or maybe it'll take longer. But I'm going to wait for City Skylines 2 to have more features and have some of these mechanics fixed before playing more. Therefore, I plan on playing City Skylines 1. City Skylines 1 works better, has more features, doesn't have weird or broken mechanics. City Skylines 1 is just a better game and more fun to play right now. Now, I'm going to go and fix some traffic of other people's cities in City Skylines 1. If you want more tips for City Skylines 1, there is a playlist which includes Metro Subway Guides, a Beginner's Guide, Traffic Manager Settings, and other tutorials and tips. Also in the playlist are a boatload of submitted city fixes where I fix other people's cities and their traffic. You can check those out. Please like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. And if you want to support me more, smash that subscribe button. As always, Stream Vibes playing in the background. You can check it out on most music platforms all over the world. And you can also use it on your own streams and videos. You will not get a copyright strike because I own the copyright. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.